Clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. Hello. Thank you for joining us. When we come together as a community of faith to celebrate the mysteries that make us who we are, we begin always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace to try in God be with each of you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Here in love with God, we seek God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abimelholah, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelve. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance, O Lord. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, Lord, you are my, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart extols me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful un to undergo corruption. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance, O Lord. Lord. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You, you are, are my inheritance, inheritance O Lord. Lord. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters. But do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you can go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. 
I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant Amen. is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. When the days for Jesus' being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples James and John saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will go, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another one he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered them, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first, let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So the Gospel of Luke has a version of the Sermon on the Mount. He calls it the Sermon on the Plain. It covers the same territory. And one of the primary posits in both sermons is love God, neighbor, and self. So between that particular sermon on the plain and the moment we have in today's gospel, a whole lot of things have happened. Jesus has traveled. He fed the 5,000, which we heard in last week's gospel. He healed a demoniac. He raised uh, the son of a, a widow. Um, lots of things, lots of things. Because what happens is that when Jesus gives us something, he says, this is what it looks like. When I say love God, neighbor, and self, this is what it looks like. This is what I want you to see. And so he shows us what that looks like. Feed the hungry. I'll just feed these 5,000 plus people because they're hungry. I came across this widow who will not be cared for, and her son has died. I will give her her son back. Heal the sick. Cure those who are ill. Do those things. And then he has said, go out and preach. And so that's what we're called to do. Well, okay, but can I? No, you can't. This is how it has to happen. You have to go out and you have to live the life that I'm giving you to its fullest, without exception without change, always and everywhere. So we're now in ordinary time. We are counting down 
the time that we go back in to the special seasons of the liturgical year. And again and again, we are going to be called to preach the gospel, to live it out in our very lives, in what we say, in what we do. And so the disciples are going, yeah, we can do that, we can do that. But these guys here, they're not our neighbors, so can we smite them instead? Jesus must have done something to the effect of, holy, oh, they're not listening. They're not hearing it. It's not you can do it for these people, but not these people. You do it for all of us. He redefined what it meant to have a neighbor. It redefined the relationship between us and God and within ourselves. To trust ourselves, to love ourselves, to understand that we have been given by God a mission and that we are called to live it out in season and out. Easter season is finally over. All of the extra holidays and holy days are gone. We're, we're in ordinary time. And we're going to be there for a while. But it doesn't mean that we can let up. It doesn't mean that we can take a break from preaching and living out the gospel. It doesn't mean that at all. It means that we should continue every single day of our lives to listen to what Jesus said. The Son of God has nowhere to rest his head except in our hearts. That's where we stay. That's where we're called to live. So I invite you to go back to pick up the Sermon on the Mount. It's easy in Matthew. It's also in Luke. But listen to it. Understand what it says. And then when Jesus says to you and I in our hearts, as we come to the table to celebrate the Eucharist, Jesus invites us at the table again and again. He says it to each of us individually in our hearts. He says, quietly, but firmly, gently, and persistently, come, follow me. As a community of faith, we always say together, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and arose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers, our petitions, and our hopes before our God. For Pope Francis, Bishop Donald, and all who teach and proclaim the faith, that they will do so with joy, with the saving mercy of the Lord, and with true fidelity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders of local communities, states, and those on the national level will be servants of true concern for the health, welfare, public safety, and good of all peoples, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for ourselves, that we will be true disciples of Christ with an unconditional commitment to God's saving work by knowing how to love, to be forgiving, and always looking forward, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that God will embrace all who are in pain, suffering, or dealing with any type of life disability. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, especially Joyce Wisniewski, our best intention, that they may now see God face to face and feel his eternal love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That God will help each of us in our own needs, we offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, you've heard the things we have given voice to, but you know those things in our hearts. We gather them, offer them to you, and await your loving response that comes always through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the field, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Lord, wash away your iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to our almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplishes the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the needs by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis Hope Pope and Donald our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste and holy spouse, the blessed apostles, all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. He came as our Lord and our Redeemer. He is our brother. And alive in our hearts, he teaches us to pray, and so we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Gracious shall grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me his holy name. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. The Almighty God bless each one of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. Leading us in worship on this 13th Sunday in Summer Ordinary Time as our presider was Father Rich Litzau, a member of the Blessed Sacrament Dominican Friary in Madison and parochial vicar at Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish in Madison. Deacon Jim Hagemeyer, Associate Director of the Apostolate for the Persons with Disabilities of the Diocese of Madison, assisted at the altar. I am Dennis McKinley of Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish and Edgewood High School of the Sacred Heart in Madison. It was a personal blessing to be your lecture commentator for today's Mass. 
Mary Fruits of St. Dennis Parish in Madison by her interpretation and closed captioning by the apostolate enabled our deaf sisters and brothers to share with us in faith, word, and Eucharistic celebration. The opportunity to bring the weekly television mass to persons of all faiths and disabilities living in their homes or healthcare facilities is a special ministry, both public and spiritual, made possible by the owner, staff, and management of WISC-TV. We remain ever grateful for this gift of generosity. Don't forget to reserve your tickets for the Apostolate Day at the Duck Pond with the Madison Mallards baseball team on July 13th. You can do so by calling the number on your screen. Make it a beautiful week, and in your path of life, may your heart be glad, your soul rejoice, and may you know that the Lord will never abandon you.